start, we're going to talk about all three of them. Uh, just got right here. You didn't play no football. You was out playing basketball, actually. And I said, why ain't you playing football? He said, I ain't never went out there. He went out there and never looked good. He, he, he ain't in the basketball stuff, so he's getting the football stuff. So I'm proud of him. This guy right here, when my son first came from Anderson, this was the first kid that ever came over my house. This was the first friend he had from Saxon that came over my house. Yeah, I watched him grow up from here. I'm proud of him. Proud of him. This is the head right here. <laughs> my head ain't. I love him with all my heart. He's been playing football ever since he's six years old. He's never been the biggest. He's always had this right here, though. And that's what I'm most proud of. He always gives his all. He always do his best in the classroom. Even when he was at Addison, he never had a problem with him with his grades. That's what I'm most proud of. Never have a problem with him with his grades, too. He always kept him up. He was smarter than me. I, I was uh, smarter than me, so I'm, all, I'm proud of that, and I'm very happy that he's getting a scholarship to go play football. I'm proud of you, my lady. situation. He's got our first uh, Power Five, our group of five, Division One signee in about 15 years. We've had a lot of kids signed uh, over the years, and he's going to a really good spot for him and uh, his development as a player. His best days are ahead of him. You'll see him on uh, a lot of SEC stadiums. They're playing Ole Miss during his four years. They're playing South Carolina, playing Missouri. So you're going to see him a lot on Saturdays. Real, real proud of Jalen. Uh, Jonathan Cobb, uh, you know, it's a kid that uh, his heart is as big as his gym, you know, and he's uh, never questioned uh, for one second his his will to win, his will to prepare. Uh, he's just a phenomenal kid, and, uh, you know, we're going to miss him around here, but he's, you know, helped teach our younger kids a lot about leadership and how to go about things the right way. Uh, he's going to Mississippi College, and uh, it's a great spot for him, good fit, and uh, he's going to do big things over there. He got to stay close, or fairly close to home, too. Mario Thomas, uh, he's a big guy, but he's a phenomenal athlete. Uh, he's, you know, he and Jaylen are two of the best linemen we've had here in my 18 years here. Uh, if Mario was three or four inches taller, he'd be in the same boat as Jaylen. He'd you know, be beating off the college with a stick. So, uh, but, you know, there was a lot of interest in Mario, and he, he's uh, going to Alabama State, and it's a great spot for him. He's going to get to play defense, which is uh, his love. Uh, he's, a, he's a very good offensive guard as well. But uh, good kids, proud of them. They've uh, accomplished a lot here at Sachs High School, uh, made a lot of memories, and now they get to go make some more. down Caleb Hole. He uh, served some time with these young men throughout his tenure here at Saks High School, but I'm giving him an opportunity to say a few words about these gentlemen. All right. Uh, when I look up here, you know, y'all see three guys going to college, but I see three of my brothers. You know, they've been with me since day one. 
Uh, when I got hurt, they were there supporting me. You know, we all encouraged each other to get in the weight room and just receive. You know, we fought on that field, we bled, we shed tears together. And they shared with me some of the best memories I'll have in life. Boys, I wish nothing but the best for y'all.